Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Sanj, and today I'm bringing you another monthly favourites video. I know this one's quite delayed. We're pretty much a third into the month of August. However, there's a few things that I wanted to touch up for the month of July. A few pickups that I, I haven't properly shown you guys, and a few updates, such as what's going on here. Let's get going. Okay, so to start things off, let's talk about the big elephant in the room, and that is my hair. Yes, I shaved it off. It happened nearly two weeks ago. If you follow me on my social media right here, I put up a few update pictures and, and whatnot. So do follow me if you wish to. Sanjeev, S-A-N-G-I-E-V, Instagram, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, yeah, it happened, man. It was supposed to happen, obviously, a year or potentially even two years down the line. I got in touch with a really nice hair salon hairdresser who has close ties with the charity Little Princess Trust. And what those guys do is they take hair and make wigs for children with cancer, which is, I mean, it's a great cause. In an ideal world, I would have loved to have been able to raise some money, whether it's with you guys' help, support. But due to the lack of planning and me deciding things on a last minute basis, I couldn't quite do so. So I flew to Cannes, landed back on a Thursday, went and got my hair all chopped off on a Friday. I will put a picture that I'll post it on Instagram right here. But yeah, it was all plaited up and then they just chop it off and then at the end, just like a straight buzz. It has grown back though. It's been nearly two weeks now. It used to be a lot shorter than this. It was pretty much like grade one, if you know what that means. Second up, huge, huge, huge thank you and much love to everyone for showing the support and the love on my previous video. So it was filmed while we were in Cannes. It was me, James, Enzo. James, you've already met previously. Enzo, a newcomer to the channel. Just two of my boys, man. Such, such a sick holiday. Genuine Cannes is just a beautiful place. I definitely recommend everyone to go there if you have the opportunity to. Another point I wanted to touch upon on was the Q&A that we filmed out there. Yes, we did film a Q&A. Yes, I will put it out. However, because I don't use a mic, and I knew this would happen. We filmed outdoors, we found an amazing place, but the sound is all over the place. So what I'm having to do is just subtitle everything. Now don't get me wrong, you can still hear our voices okay, but you have the wind coming in. Now I could go the, oh, it makes you feel as though you're part of, you were there, route. But uh, let's be honest, I didn't have a mic, the wind is annoying. So I'm gonna have to subtitle everything. Obviously I'm still gonna leave the audio just as it is. It might be slightly annoying though. So that is that, that is why the Q&A has been slightly delayed. Hopefully I'll put this video out before the Q&A. Okay, speaking of the holiday, this item was an absolute must and I'm so, so glad I brought it with me. It kind of made my life easier, carrying everything. I didn't have to like track everything on a backpack or whatever. And that is this Valentino bag. Kind of stuffed it just so that it holds its shape, but normally it's a lot, it's a lot softer. Right now there's just a bag full of shit. Um, it's a lot softer. Valentino bought it during the sale. I didn't quite show you guys. I don't think I showed it at all. It was meant to be in my What I'm Packing to Can video. Beautiful bag, man. It was from the previous season. I believe they still have a version similar to this for this new season. It's double-sided, so you've got black, and then you've got this olive green colorway. You can flip out. You've got the studs on both sides. The Valentino branding right here. Would you be able to see that? Hold up. Burn. Valentino branding right here. Shoulder strap, mad comfy. Some of my other boys were like, sick bag, quite feminine. I was like, I don't give a f it looks sick. With totes, you have that tendency of looking ever so slightly feminine, but whatever man. If you, if you carry it and you pull it off, you're all good. Now the studs obviously don't help, but at the same time, it's like, boom, you know, you're flexing on him. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's been so long since I've done a talking video that I'm just chatting shit. Item number one, this Valentino bag right here. For item number two and three, you would have actually seen these in the What I'm Packing to Can video. They're two t-shirts from the same place, two different designs, so let me just show you them potentially together. They are from the Travis Scott merchandise, this being the more popular piece, I reckon, of the collection. So it's just got Travis at the front with this um, skull or whatever imprint, man. It just looks sick. And then in the back, it just says Travis Scott in concert, 16 with date and location. I believe this was originally from the anti-tour, Rihanna's anti-tour. Again, real clean, nothing much to it. Just a print of La Flame. Inverse colors at the bottom in red. It just says USA tour, 16 in concert. What sold me these pieces were the colors of the t-shirt. Now I knew that this was perfect for a look where I'm wearing my white jeans and my boots because the colors just go perfectly with it. Both of them are acquired in a size extra large. The 
colour of the t-shirt is just incredible. It has that pre-faded wash to it. I might add some further distressing to it just so that it has that more lived in feel. That makes sense, right? Yeah, I'm gonna add some further distressing to it so that it has that more lived in feel. It looks really cool. It fits really, really big, boxy, oversized, extra large. Boom. Sticking with t-shirt, we have my boy Fernando's tee. Real clean, it's obviously inspired by Off-White. It just says Michigan, Michigan, I don't even know how, yeah, that is how you pronounce it. Michigan, Falling Michigan by Fernando Rangel. Is it Rangel, 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 2016. Real, real clean, man. I really love the colors. You've got that navy, that yellow, printed on a champion tee. This one, I went in a size extra large. Looks sick when tucked in. It's a really nice piece, and if you are after that off-white tee, but a more affordable version than this is definitely a go-to. So Michigan tea, Fernando killed it with this one. In terms of fashion favorites, that was pretty much it from me. I actually wanted to ask you guys, because I normally move on to my music, the books, the movies, and whatever's happened. There's two things that I want to ask you guys. A, I might be traveling to Dortmund in about two weeks time for a very quick getaway trip, which is a, a very random location. But if you have any suggestions as to what I should do or what I should check out, then do let me know in the comment section down below. If anyone's from there as well, it'd be cool to just chill. Secondly, I haven't been listening to new music in a while. I've just been listening to the same music over and over again. I follow the playlist Rap Caviar on, um, on Spotify, and, and I, so I get my intake of like hip hop music and rap. But if there's an album that I should check out, then please let me know in the comment section down below. Someone new, someone that I haven't heard before. So if you have, if you think you might know someone that I might like, and my taste in music is quite varied, then the only pieces of music that I've been listening to have been like movie soundtracks. So I'm just obsessed with any of Hans Zimmer's work. And all your Asians out there, A. R. Rahman. A. R. Rahman. That's the English way of saying it. Anyway, an absolutely incredible piece of work. Obviously, A. R. Rahman has done a few English movies, but the majority of his work is still very much in the Asian community. Who is that coming in now? Hello, A. R. Rahman. <laughs> Bro, how am I supposed to use that tape now? Well, you cut out that bit that I just came in and then you carry on with AR on my <laughs> Moving on to favourite books of this month, I've been reading this one called Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. And I have not finished it, I'm pretty much just halfway through. So far, it's a good book, but it kind of goes against the a lot of what I believe or what I hold faith in. So Ego is the Enemy is about basically taming the beasts that we call ego, that every one of us have. It's a great book. Again, as I said, I have not fully finished it. I'm still halfway through. I disagree with a lot of the points, but I'm definitely looking forward to reading it and potentially, there's definitely a few points that I've taken into consideration. I'm like, okay, this is interesting. There's a lot of points where I'm just like, okay, you're just chatting shit. You want a book or you want anything to be fair in life that makes you want to have an opinion. Whether you hate it, whether you love it. That is book recommendation. This mug belongs to the best nan. Fantastic. Movie recommendation, I went and saw Suicide Squad and I kind of don't want to add to it because I know that the reviews have been slating it everywhere for good reasons. I'm normally against reviews because I feel like a movie is always going to be enjoyable. That's a lie. 95% of the time a movie is entertaining. This movie was somewhat entertaining. However, it was just so like, it, it was awful. It was pretty awful. I mean, me and my boys went and I rated it a 3 out of 10. And that was pretty much what the overall consensus seemed to be. I mean, it is an action flick. It provides explosions, fights, and all that jazz. So in that sense, yeah, it ticks that box, but nothing besides that. So I didn't expect like a major storyline or anything that was like groundbreaking, but at least give me some good acting or a good script. Like some of the acting, I kid you not, it seemed like halfway through the movie, they were just like, I can't be asked for this. Let me just, I'm just gonna be reading lines off the script and not put any thoughts or acting into it. But Hey, to each his own. So, Suicide Squad, that's what I've seen. Thank you very much for watching, man. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot. The channel is growing. It's growing. 
And um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to put out some great content for you guys. We've got a few more lookbooks, ways to wear, social media right here, Sanjeev, S-A-N-G-I-E-V, that is my full name. That is it, pretty much. Have a beautiful day. You know, make sure everyone's okay. Make sure everyone's in good health. Um, the sun is shining and you should aim to shine back. And that might just be the lamest outro I've ever done. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace. Love tea.